Gaffer, how did you see tonight's performance? Yeah, it was a tough game. I thought it was a really physical game. I thought Chesham were very physical. Um, they're a side that obviously fancied in their division promotion and I think they'll be a decent side. A lot of uh, athletes in their team and they gave us a tough test. Um, I thought it um, was competitive first half and I thought as the, as the game went on, the longer it went on, I thought we got stronger and stronger and uh, we played some really good stuff in the end. So they seem to offer quite a physical test. Is that sort of realistic to what we'll see in the National League this year? Yeah, I think so. I think they've got, they've got some players that have played in the National League. And they have a couple of players that played in the Braintree playoff team a few years back. Adam Cunnington has played at the level a lot as well. Um, they've got some good players and like you said, it was a tough physical test. And perhaps as well, we could have expected that considering they're about a week or so away from starting their league campaign. We're a little bit behind them in terms of pre-season. Yeah, I think you can see their team, and similar to Hornsworth Saturday as well, they've got a bit more bite about him where they're really ready for their campaign. Um, and it's somewhere you'd like to see us in, you know, in 10 days' time, two weeks' time, before we start our season. And we're building up to that now. And first goal scored by Kai Brown. Some brilliant work by Miles Weston as well down the right-hand side. No, it was the best bit of play we had in the first half. I thought the first 20 minutes, Westy was excellent against their left-back. I thought he put him on the back foot, put some really good crosses in. And the finish from Kai is a, is a very good finish. I'd like to see a back read. Really. I think he had both feet off the ground and um, he guided it in, didn't slash it. It, it, was, it was a culturous finish and yeah, it's what he deserved for his first half performance. Paul as well, good goal. Um, really lively pressure from in the box as well. It sort of came from him. Yeah, around. He, he, pressed, he, he had a shot, it was blocked, he won the ball back and it was a composed finish. Listen, I've said, I've said it every time to you that we know when we get Macker in the ball, in and around the block, that he's going to score goals. And I thought in that last period when Ange and George were on behind them, I thought they, they, they were terrific in their movement and pressing and they moved the ball really well. And more minutes in the legs as well, some 90s as well for some of the players out there. You must be really impressed with how they're doing so far. No, definitely. We've had, we've, we've, like I said, it's, we've had a tough pre season and in the, in the next you know four or five games, we'll be looking to really taper it down now into. Picking start the levens and getting tighter on your set pieces and your decision making, etc. But I think so far, uh, we've been pleased so far. And finally, just a word on the three players we've got injured at the moment. Obviously, none of them in, involved today. How close are they in, to coming back? We hope to have Mitch and Crowley back by the weekend. Um, we hope. Um, Dero's got a scan tomorrow and see how he is, but he's, been, he's done a lot of work this week. Again, I don't think he'll be a million miles away. Hopefully, it's seven to ten days to get him back as well. So we won't rush them. It's a long season and um, we've got a lot of players as it is. But, um, Hopefully we have the maximum because that would be great additions to our squad.